Yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? We're back with another galaxy painting. Sorry I've been away so long, but I'm trying to practice my skills. We're going to jump straight into it. All the colors that have been used in this painting are Createx water based paints. They've all been reduced with 4011 Reducer. All of the ratios are in prior videos. If you have specific questions, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I do respond to my comments fairly quickly, so don't feel shy. I'm also using a variety of airbrushes ranging from my 771 Creos from GSI over at Spray Gunner. And I'm also using a variety of Iwata airbrushes. All of those are listed in the links in the description. Please definitely hit like hit subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and let's get straight to it i want to actually talk about a couple of things during this video so i'm in the process of growing my business and i'm curious to hear how some of my fellow tumblr makers and airbrush artists alike how they're managing during this difficult time financially so we have been expanding on our products we've been expanding on the tumblers that we make over the last six maybe eight months and that's been something that's become very popular here on oahu so it's been one of the things that we've begun to focus really intently on doing that has been kind of a challenge because i've had to do some additional learning obviously i'm learning how to film edit and content create so that's been something that i'm starting to get used to but it's still a new avenue for me all while doing that i continue to do my canvas paintings so this is something that really makes it very easy for me now with these galaxies i do not use a reference photo this image was just something i came up with off the top of my head um color selection that's something that i've kind of figured out on the fly i found a color palette that i personally like to use the colors complement each other pretty well but i've bought them in bulk so that i don't have to continue to order over and over and over and over and over again during this year so i've got enough paint and enough reducer enough clear coat to last me for the next couple months so as i'm building this product out i don't have to worry about paint and supplies i can just focus on the product itself so a lot of people have asked me recently well how did you make these bottles how did you come up with the designs how did you learn how to do this a lot of the stuff that i learned how to do related to airbrushing I've either asked other fellow airbrush artists or I have gone myself and just watched on YouTube. If there's not an answer to something, I take it upon myself to really start troubleshooting those things on my own if I can't use all of my resources to find an answer. Definitely no shade to any of the other airbrush artists before I say this. I definitely appreciate their feedback, their input when they message back or when they don't message back. It kind of helps me grow as an airbrush artist as well as an entrepreneur. So you're not always going to get answers about business. It, that seems to be a taboo topic, which is why I started telling people, hey, I want to start talking about the airbrush business, less about the physical skill of how do you airbrush, but more about how do you grow a business related to airbrush or airbrushing. Let me know in the comments something that you might be curious about related to airbrushing and business and potentially how to grow one. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on the topic. Maybe we can start a group on Facebook and talk about this a little more in depth. I think what I'm going to do is start to have a couple more videos like this where we can have an open conversation about the business of airbrushing. 
So the other thing that I started painting over the last six months has been I've been customizing skate decks and that's more of a personal project that I I just wanted to see if I could do it if it's something that was feasible if it was feasible how do I bring my own personal style to customizing skate decks so I've begun to do that but that's a little more on the back burner so that I can figure out and perfect the process so my products don't look like everyone else's products so it's it's a work in progress but it's something that I'm definitely interested in but it has taken a back seat to the tumblers because I get more inquiries about the tumblers and how to customize them can you paint portraits can you put this picture of my kids on that sort of question so i've spent a lot of my time really servicing the community related to tumblers and hydrosport bottles um I'm finding that more people like to take the Hydrosport style bottle versus a tumbler because out here everybody's on the go. You're out on the road, you're at work, you're taking that bottle on the go. So I've really focused on that area. I, I'm curious what you have focused on in your business over this last six months definitely leave it in the comments if you have specific questions dm me i'm always available to answer questions or help with troubleshooting an issue if you'd like and are interested definitely take that time and go hit that like button hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications i'm always interested in growing this community so that we can all become great there are enough customers out there for everyone they print money every single day so there's enough money out here for everyone i am more interested in the collaborative side of business to see both parties grow as you can see we've gotten away from the white paint and we're starting to lay in colors to make our picture a little more three-dimensional I'm still using transparent paint here to tint the white to other darker colors so that we build our scene out. I know that I'll have a second installment of this video because I got to the end and had not gone back and done the final highlights. So we're definitely going to have a part two to this. So let me know what secondary colors you guys might want to see as I finish this painting off. As always, I appreciate everyone for popping in, showing your support. I definitely appreciate and enjoy the comments and the feedback. You guys are the greatest by far. I very much appreciate you being supportive of us on this journey. If you have questions about our products, you can always reach out to us at marshallartistry.com. That's where you can find all of the paintings and the artwork that we create. You can also find our Hydrosport bottles, our canvas art. We're going to have an upcoming Solstice collection coming out June 21st. So in celebration of Summer Solstice, we're going to be releasing a new series of paintings and we're including the Hydrosport bottles as well. I just want to take a moment and say thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end. Definitely leave your feedback and I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. Thanks again. Peace.